Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tommy and welcome to another episode of Tommy Tech Outdoors. Today I'm going to show you how to install the circle hatch on the back of my 2019 Hobie Outback. So stay tuned. If you're new to my channel and you like fishing, crabbing, kayaking, boating, or just spending quality time with family and friends outdoors, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that red subscribe button below and clicking that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Alright guys, so on the 2019 Hobie app back in the uh, back area, there actually is a recessed uh, circular piece here that fits a circular hatch perfectly. Um, this uh, hatch actually came from my uh, 2016 Hobie Outback. Actually we replaced it with the rectangular hatch. Um, I'm actually glad that the uh, that Hobie now makes that a standard feature in their uh, new Outbacks. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to install this circular hatch into this piece um, the reason I'm, I need to do that is um, if you saw in one of my previous videos where uh, I tested my big speed jet, um, it doesn't turn very well. So I need to uh, install the steering controls. So I really would need to get underneath here just to make my steering controls uh, a little neater instead of having them run across the top deck, which is what I was going to do um, at first just so I could try it out. But um, one of my uh, viewers, um, Fox Cross actually, um, he told me, uh, or he gave me a couple details on uh, what he did when he uh, installed it, you know, because there's a lot of concerns about, you know, the steering cables, where they go, you know, are they going to be underneath here? And uh, he did mention that the, um, the cable for the rudder, actually, I would need to make sure I drop my rudder cable and then also uh, take the bungee off it's probably hanging off uh, around here somewhere. I actually uh, took a flashlight, looked back, got a pretty good look, and it does come back. It looks like it comes back right around here. I'm not 100%. Um, so what I'm going to do is when I cut it out, I'm going to uh, cut out a small portion, just cut it out, and then just so I can take a peek underneath, maybe get you know enough a big enough hole so I can stick my hand under there and just kind of get a peek. Um, so. To do the install, what I'm going to do is take the, um, the backing piece of the circular hatch and I'm going to place it here and then I'm going to use a marker to uh, trace this out just so I can have a, uh, you know, a, nice, uh, a nice template to uh, cut out. And what I'm going to be using to uh, cut it out is a, uh, it's actually a spiral saw show you here this is a uh, this is a roto zip spiral saw uh, I actually used this when I uh, installed my rectangular hatch and it cuts through the plastic like butter and there goes a the car sorry about the car behind me and the noise but so I'm gonna be using this uh, and it should cut pretty nicely um, so let me go ahead and uh, trace out the outline and then I'll start cutting. All right guys, so I've just traced out uh, the template so I could cut uh, the, uh, the hole. Uh, one thing you do have to keep in mind there, this actually um, needs to sit so that it's that's slightly away from the edge of the um, the sides here because the you have to make sure that the um, the sides fit into the recessed piece here. So I what I did was I kind of dry fitted it to make sure that. You just look from the top you can see you can see that it'll fits in the uh, recessed piece so you got to make sure that you uh, pay attention to that when you uh, draw out your template as well so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start cutting I'm gonna double check inside to make sure that the 
cable does not come on this side because I'm going to cut a small piece so that I could just take a look and see what's underneath. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and start cutting. This is the uh, scary part. Uh, again, I'm just going to cut kind of a little hole so I can uh, investigate a little bit closer to see where the cables go. I did take a quick look, but uh, I'll show you when I, or explain it to you when I cut the hole. This is then I'll get a better look to uh, kind of understand where what's going. All right guys, so I just cut a exploratory hole so I can see what's going on. So up here, you can see I have the line here for where I'm gonna be cutting up to. Um, the, one of the steering lines is actually gone over here. It feels like it's about, about right here. So I'll be okay cutting here. Um, and then on the back, yeah, see it's comes around here. So what I'm probably gonna do is cut up to here again and then just cut it out just to see just to make sure, I'll do some more. Just cut slowly. And then also, you really do have to make sure you um, drop your rudder cable. Um, and thanks again to uh, Foxcross for letting me know about that, because uh, I think if it were tight, it would be right up against the hole. You can see it right here. You, you could potentially cut it back here. Um, and then also on the uh, other side here, if I reach in, I can also feel the uh, rudder tubes here um, it feels like it's actually outside of the circle so it's like right here maybe different than yours so uh, if you do do this I would recommend making an exploratory hole and then just seeing exactly where your cables are because they could be slightly different uh, when you get yours so I'm gonna cut some more and uh, just slowly cut and then uh, eventually get to where I can uh, kind of dry fit and then uh, finish up the install So now I've got the uh, hole cut. So now I'm gonna go ahead and dry fit the um, circle hatch and see if it uh, fits. It's a little bit snug, which is good for keeping the water out. There's a gasket underneath too. Look at that. Sweet, fits very nicely in there. All right, so now I'm gonna, uh, here, let me take it out first, show you what I'm gonna do. So before I uh, drill out these holes, I'm gonna actually take out my gasket so I don't destroy my gasket. I'll line that up later. This will help keep water out as well. Um, you could also uh, put silicone on your screws too when you install it but uh, I think the gasket is good enough and uh, I don't know we'll see so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drill out the holes for this actually I'm gonna clean up all this shavings first and then we'll get to them so I'm gonna do that now all right guys so this is why it's important that you make sure you drop your rudder as you can see right here, I have my rudder up right now, and this cable is uh, tight against the hole. So if you were cutting, you would actually end up cutting your rudder cable. So if I put it down, so if I put it down to make sure you, in the front, there's actually uh, gets hung on a um, piece of foam. So just make sure you take it off the foam and then pull it down so that it's not tied up against the, uh, the hole. And then you can cut and you won't have to worry about, you know, accidentally cutting this, um, this piece. So uh, thanks again to uh, Fox Cross for letting me know about that. Um, it actually saved me. So I really appreciate that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the hatch back in and then I'll drill out the holes and screw everything in. All right, now that I got the uh, holes drilled, I'm gonna take the hatch back out, put the uh, gasket back on. All right guys, so the screws that I'm using are um, 
Number 10, stainless steel screws. These are three quarter inch um, long. Uh, that's what it said on uh, Hobie's website for the circle hatch. So uh, I tested it and it works well. So now I'm gonna uh, take off the hatch and replace the gasket. So I'm just gonna line it up with the holes. Slide it like that, and fits right in. So I'm gonna put one screw first, all the way down. I'm gonna actually hand tighten all these. And then once the screw is kind of almost through the hole, then I can take the backing piece, take the hole, and then kind of line that screw. And then you actually feel it. and snug. Yeah, so that's good. So I'm going to take another screw, just do it on the opposite side just so the backing piece is hanging off on the bottom. Uh, let's see. Oh, actually, I should tighten it down too much yet. Yeah, so don't tighten it down too much initially because you're going to have to uh, kind of adjust the Adjust the screws. Oops, didn't want to do that. And then we'll get this other side. Just kind of doing crisscross just to make sure everything is nice and snug. So there you go. It's in the back of piece now. So then once you've done those, then everything should line up nicely. And uh, you can screw in the rest a lot easier. So just make sure that you get it into that backing piece. All right, guys, so the uh, circle hatch is installed. So try it out. It's nicely closes nicely. And we're good to go. All right guys, so that was the install of the circle hatch on the back of my 2019 Hobie Outback. Um, it actually wasn't that bad. Just have to make sure that you um, uh, just drill like an exploratory hole so you can kind of see where the cables are because I don't know if they'll be exactly where they are in mine. And then also the important thing is to uh, drop that, drop your rudder to make sure that this cable is not right against the hole because you will cut it if you don't. Um, so if you have any comments or questions uh, about this install, please comment in the comment section below, or you can also shoot me an email at tommytechoutdoors at gmail.com. Uh, but now that this project's installed, I can go ahead and try to figure out how I'm gonna run my steering cables for my uh, big speed jet, and I'm sorry about the car. Um, so stay tuned for that in a future video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And click that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.